The following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Last episode, we talked about Jeremiah 29.11, and today, we will have a very special guest. Let's watch this. A strong woman who bravely shared her life story with us, from being lost, but now is found. Let us hear from her how she have changed and who changed her. Let us all welcome Gladys and Paris Gabrielson. Gladys, how are you today? I'm very good. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. So Gladys, we already know a little bit about you, about your life. Yeah. But we have a question for you today. Mm -hmm. If you were to relate a Bible verse, a specific Bible verse to your life, what would it be? I would choose 2 Corinthians 5.17. Why 2 Corinthians 5.17? Because I, I believe I have changed. God changed me. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so what, how would you describe Gladys before? A uh, party girl. She is an easygoing person. And a player, kind of player. Gladys now. I am happy, happily married. I am satisfied with my life and most of all, I, I have a relationship with Christ through friends who guided me along the way. That is so inspiring, Gladys. You are <laughs> such an amazing person and very brave. Mm -hmm. I yes. agree with you, Beshi. Yeah. So what words of wisdom can you share to our viewers? Surround yourself with people who will lead you to Christ, just like a lifeline group. And then, by then, you will know your true identity. It's so inspiring, Gladys. I totally agree with that. Right, Beshi? Yes, Beshi. Mm -hmm. And really, it is important to have a small group in your life yes. so that they could really motivate or encourage your daily life. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, can correct you with your wrongdoing, yeah. even more to a better person. So yeah. that's really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so when we are back, we have a Bible scholar who will join us online to hear her perspective or points of view. Let us watch this. The book of Corinthians was a letter written by Paul and specifically on 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, those who are in Christ have become someone they were not before. Their identities has been changed from being a fallen version of themselves to being associated with the righteousness of Christ. That's who they are now. All the ideas, agendas, intentions have ceased and have replaced by Christ's plans and purposes and an entirely new creature called Christians. This program is brought to you by... Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, wipe it. Thank you for joining with us today. Today we had an amazing episode with Gladys, and it is truly amazing. See you next week in our next episode. This is Bagong Buhay.